Welcome to RPS Group of Schools Online Classes. Let us continue with our chapter Synthetic Fibers and Plastics. This is Practice Time. Let us start with the first exercise from your textbook. Choose the correct answer, page 51. Choose the answer and note it in your notepad and then wait for the correct answers to display. Let's start with question number 1. Which of the following is a synthetic fiber? Cotton, nylon, silk, wool. Which of the following is made from cellulose extracted from wood pulp? Rayon, nylon, polyester, acrylic. Sericin is A. Monomer, amino acid, protein, fiber. Terylin is a form of silk, rayon, nylon, polyester. Synthetic fiber used to make ropes is nylon, polyester, acrylic, rayon. Which one of the following is a thermosetting plastic? PVC, melamine, polythene, polystyrene. Let us discuss the correct answers. The answer to question number one is option B, nylon, because rest all fibers are natural fibers. The answer to question number two is option A, rayon, which is a semi-synthetic fiber obtained from wood pulp. The answer to question number 3 is option C, protein. Sericin is a protein found in silk. The answer to question number 4 is option D, polyester. Terylene is a popular form of polyester which is used to make fabrics. The answer to question number 5 is option A, nylon. Nylon has high tensile strength. Due to this property, it is used to make ropes. Answer to question number 6 is option B, melamine, because rest of the options are all thermoplastics. Let's continue with another exercise. Match the columns. Match the options given in column A with the correct options given in column B. Let us discuss the correct answer. Cotton is made up of a polymer called cellulose. Rayon is also called artificial silk. Melamine is a fire resistant plastic. Polystyrene is used to make hot drink cups. Very short answer type questions. What are synthetic fibers? Synthetic fibers are artificial or man-made fibers that are produced from chemical processes using petrochemicals as raw materials. What is a polymer? A large unit formed by joining of thousands of monomers is called a polymer. What is polycotton? Polycotton is a mixed fabric made by mixing polyester and cotton fibers. What do you mean by thermoplastics? Plastics that soften and get deformed on heating are known as thermoplastics. Example PVC. Who invented Bakelite? Leo Bekelind, a US chemist in 1907, invented Bakelite. Short answer type questions. What are the two types of polymers? Based on the origin of monomers, polymers can be classified as natural or synthetic polymer. 
natural polymers are present naturally. Examples include cellulose and proteins. Synthetic polymers are made from chemical substances in laboratories or factories. Examples are plastics and polyester. What are the properties of rayon? Properties of rayon are as follows. It is a good absorbent. It does not shrink. It is cool to wear. It can be easily dyed in variety of colors. List the uses of nylon. Uses of nylon. It is used to make dresses, socks, raincoats. It is also used to make ropes for rock climbing, racket strings, tires, toothbrushes, car seat belts, parachutes, etc. What are thermosetting plastics? What are their uses? Plastics that do not de get deformed and instead harden on heating are called thermosetting plastics. Once set, they cannot be reshaped even on heating. Examples of thermosetting plastics along with their uses are Bakelite. It is used for making electric plugs, switches and handles of cooking utensils. Melamine. It is used to make floor tiles, white boards and fire resistant fabrics. List any two disadvantages of plastics. Plastics are non-biodegradable and the accumulation of plastic waste creates environment hazards. Plastics on burning release many poisonous gases causing air pollution. Long answer type questions. Why are synthetic polymers made? List their advantages. Synthetic polymers are made because they possess useful properties which are suitable for making a large variety of articles. The advantages of synthetic polymers are they do not corrode or rust. They can be given various colors. They are very strong. They are inexpensive. They can be made in different shapes. Why is nylon so useful? List its properties. Nylon is so useful because of its high tensile strength, which makes it one of the strongest fibers. Due to this property, it is used to make parachutes and ropes for rock climbing. Properties of nylon are It is shiny, smooth and elastic fiber. It is lightweight and easy to wash. It absorbs less water and dries quickly. It is easy to maintain and wrinkle free. It can be easily dyed in different colors. List the differences between natural and synthetic fibers. The differences between natural and synthetic fibers are as follows. Synthetic fibers are produced from chemicals whereas natural fibers are produced from natural substances. Synthetic fibers are much stronger as compared to natural fibers. Synthetic fibers do not absorb water and dry up quickly. Natural fibers absorb water and take time to dry up. Synthetic fibers are durable, moth resistant and easy to maintain. Natural fibers are not so durable, affected by moth and difficult to maintain. Synthetic fibers are easily washable and wrinkle free. On the other hand, natural fibers are not easily washable and are not wrinkle free. Synthetic fibers are less expensive as compared to natural fibers. What do you mean by 4R principle? Describe. 4R's principle includes some measures to reduce plastic pollution. 
By following the 4 R's principle, each individual can contribute in minimizing plastic pollution. 4 R's stand for Reduce, Reuse, Recycle and Recover that are described below. Reduce Try to avoid usage of plastic articles in order to minimize the amount of plastic waste generated. This can be done by buying products with less plastic packaging or using jute cloth or paper bags instead of plastic bags while shopping. Reuse Used item that we usually throw away should be reused if possible. We should not throw away the plastic bags after using them once as it can be reused. A broken plastic milk mug is used as pen and pencil holder or as a small flower pot. Recycle Recycling is the breaking down of used items and using them as a raw material to form new items. By recycling the products can be reshaped and be used for other purposes. Articles that cannot be reused should be sent for recycling. Recover Recovering includes selection of discarded items for specific use so that they can be converted into some kinds of resources. For example, the waste can be converted into compost and used to enhance soil fertility. The waste can also be used as a fuel for generating electricity. What are the types of plastics? What are the uses of plastics? Based on their behavior towards heat, plastics can be classified as thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. Thermoplastics Plastics which get softened and deformed on heating are called thermoplastics. They can bend easily. They can be remolded or reshaped as many times as desired. They are linear polymers. Examples include PVC, polystyrene, polythene, etc. Thermosetting plastics Plastics which do not get deformed and harden on heating are called thermosetting plastics. Once set, they cannot be reshaped even on heating. They have cross-linked arrangement of monomers. Examples Melamine and Bakelite Uses of Plastics PVC It is used for making covering around electrical wires, hose pipes, floor tiles, raincoats, car seats, etc. Polystyrene It is used to make hot drink cups, disposable plates, test tubes, petri dishes. Polythene it is used for making plastic bags, water pipes, squeeze bottle, etc. Bakelite It is used for making handles of cooking utensils, electrical plugs, switches, combs, etc. Melamine It is used to make floor tiles, whiteboards, utensils and fire resistant fabrics. That was all for today's class. Welcome to RPS.